Hi, it's Kate at Kate's Garden Picking and Cat Rambles. I see you make sure my microphone's on. Um, kind of going about this in my own little experiment. I have opened the screen over here into the smaller coop. And I've opened the gate so that nobody can get cornered by a big chicken and me not be able to get to them. Or then not be able to run through. And I've opened the... Uh, TH pin, and as you can tell, there's Column, the other rooster. Moira, the other cream crested leg bar, his his head woman, and the two leghorn crosses, and the adults don't even seem to be paying any attention. Juveniles are back there. I filled up their food thing. I added some of the uh, juvenile food there to that bowl of hen food. Laddie's too busy pecking me to notice that there's another rooster and uh, three more hens in here. So, Laddie, you got company, but I'd rather him be messing with me than immediately going after the other birds. So maybe that will help them just kind of uh, integrate because it's just like, oh, no big deal. It's like, oh, the fence is open? Like I said, they've been with each other through the fence for months now. Hi, Moira. So we're going to set this down and watch and see how they get, do. Hopefully, Laddie doesn't attack. Stop it! I'm gonna have to hold this. Wow. I figured that the adults would immediately be. There's Luna. They had a hand, you can see her fluffy butt there. Tomorrow is fluffy butt girls trimming. And there's the other room. And to his nature. Laddie's over here pecking at my fingers and I even put on the blue Crocs that he doesn't mind. He used to love them. I mean, he used to really love them. As in, you know, they were his first experimental girlfriends, I think. So, I have one of the Brahmas wandering into the small coop. The Brahmas have been very curious about what's in here. It's just... I think, you know, some place that they could never get into, so it's like, you know, makes them want to go in it even more. It's like, oh, there's nothing great in here. There's no food. It's just uh, shavings and poo. Look here. Nobody's, like, even caring. So much for the me being all freaked out and worried, but I shouldn't say that because something crazy could happen. <coughs> all right, there's Luna. Oh, she went after the rooster. There's his little feather flying. Hey. <coughs> Kiva, be nice. Flower. Flower, you've got several ways to get away. Okay, so they've all gone back into their run. The big birds haven't figured out that they could get in there if they wanted. So we may just leave it like this, that way that they feel like they have a place to go. I don't think the Brahmas would have been as aggressive if Miss uh, Bossy Fluffy Pants over here didn't stop eating to uh, go and peck the rooster, but... And he's the only, the teenage rooster, he's the only one that's lost a couple feathers. Oh, look. Dad's bringing some cat food out. They're all like, whoa! Oh my god! So when the cats don't eat all their cat food, because they're picky and because Paul overfeeds them on the soft food, we bring, when we give them fresh food, we bring what's left over out here. Put it out here in the middle. Listen to him talking. Whoa! Oh, uh, that looks like that's fresh cat food. Only one can of fresh. One small can. You should have put two little plates so the, the others could get some too. Go shake some on the ground. I thought they were over here. Did you close it? It's open. But, as I said, shake a little bit over there on the other side of the fence so that they can have a bite. 
Okay. <laughs> now, Colin, you're a rooster. Don't let her make you lose a couple feathers. You're as big as she is. I don't, he's never had a female big enough to, you know. The other girls stand up and poop up to him, but they don't really. Get away from her, Luna. Luna's being mean to Marigold. So the teenager can come back out. And Moira is out, and they're not even messing with her. Uh, look, I shouldn't say anything, but. Paul's gonna get another plate. We need it, you know, more than one plate when. I know. Even for just the, the fluffy butt crew of heathers here. Marigold's not a heather. She's the bottom of the rung and she's very sweet. Go over and get you some. So I'm going to dump a little bit out. Mm -hmm. So Marigold. <laughs> So Marigold could get a, a bite. That's all Paul needed to do. Dump a little bit out in the, the teenage pen. <laughs> Even for this crew out here, we need to have more than one plate. I had to dump some out so Marigold could get some. <laughs> Moira ventured over. <laughs> well, except for Laddie. They get along with her. It's just, they don't mess with her unless Luna does it first. <laughs> Stay right there for a minute so you're unblocking for him. Look at him. He's like, come here, laddie. You got your own. Yeah, Luna uh, attacked Colum's butt. He lost a few little tiny feathers. But he was like, what? He's not used to a big, bossy woman. But look how big the leghorns are compared to Moira. <laughs> but for the first five minutes they were out here the adults were too busy doing their own thing to even notice. So picking one piece at a time and then running with it. Yeah. And then the other chaser, like, she's got something different. These all have their back to them. You can probably... Get up if you don't want to sit there. They're doing their thing. The little ones haven't even had a taste. They're over there in their corner. They're like, we're not getting around. Those big girls. Like I said, the video is pretty neat. How the, the young ones stay in their little third of the yard. Doesn't she have a new dress? Yeah, and she pulls it off. She doesn't want to wear it. I noticed it's not so much that he does it, that while he's on her, one of the others will go over and pull off her feathers. She's not bleeding, I know so. The attack her when he, when he gets done with him. Or they'll attack her when he's with on her. So. But otherwise, they get along pretty well. I mean, part of it is she pulls at it too. So. I was sitting here yesterday and noticed that there's quite a bit of a little trail there along the fence. After I uh, weeded it down, I could see where the grass is lighter, where they've been walking the fence. Certain treats and stuff the teenagers are still uh, leery of. I don't think they'll go in there. Kiva wandered into the to the uh, coop but didn't come out. She just walked right back out. Or it was an Eve. <coughs> I got a reprieve. I'm sitting in a chair and Paul's the one surrounded by 
Looking like you're kicking us. What's wrong, Marigold? Yeah? You in the dust bath? Get away from the mean girls? She's like, those heathers are bitches. He had a few bites, but he's been a good rooster. That's often what the rooster will do. He will find a morsel somewhere, whether it's food or a bug or a worm, and he'll make a little, uh, kind of a little warbly clucking noise to call the hens over to say, hey, look, I found something good. And then he'll stand back and let them have the first let them have the uh, first bites. The uh, his comb has really made his his crap his crest lay down some, but it's still pretty cute, it's still sticking up quite a bit. He's still got his little spiky hairdo. Not as spiky as girls, but. <coughs> I saw some photos and some videos of some adult ones. You know, he's only. Four months, five, not quite five months old, and tail feathers like the one he's got sticking up. He'll have a bunch of those. <coughs> you can walk away. They got lights to get away. They all have to get along. He said none of the big ones have even walked through the opening yet. So we'll continue to see how this goes. The juveniles are back there in their corner. <coughs> doing their thing. They know they're a little, like, this is our area. Like, we're not going to get in the middle of the teenage adult squabbles. I should have got another plate. We're just little kids. They probably wouldn't eat it anyway. You can walk away, let them experiment coming in and out again. Since there's two places. Make sure they got some before these guys attack the 